Hey, what's up guys? I just want to give a one year update on my HJC i70 helmet. Uh, I got this uh, for around uh, $180 a year ago, but now I see it's around like $200 or so. Um, so that's inflation for you. Anyways, uh, this has been an excellent helmet. Uh, what it has, the main selling feature that, that sold me is it's got the, uh, the internal uh, drop down sun visor. And that's, uh, it's this button right on the side, it slides, it's cable actuated. Uh, it's super easy, you can just, while you're riding, just one hand is able to uh, manipulate that button, super easy. Um, this helmet only weighs about three and a half pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. Uh, and I'd say it's for an intermediate oval uh, shaped head. Um, but one thing that's excellent is, you know, I was, I was worried that the switch for the uh, internal sun visor here on the left side was gonna interfere with my Senna uh, Bluetooth comms. But really that fits just like right uh, behind it. And the great thing is there's also the, um, there's also the speaker cutouts are already inside the helmet. So you don't have to cut away anything. It's just super easy. You just pop them right in there and, and they, they stick really easy and they don't interfere with, um, you don't feel them at all in your head. Um, but yeah, this helmet, it's, I got it in a size medium and it fits true to size. You know, normally I'd, I'd ride with Scorpion helmets, uh, a medium, and this one with the HJC i70 fits perfectly uh, with the medium. One thing you wanna make sure is uh, when you add in a intercom system, it actually compresses uh, uh, the cheek pad slightly. Cause at first I got a small and it fit okay. Uh, and real snug, but once I put the Bluetooth, it was too tight and I got a super bad headache. There's nothing I could do about it. Um, one thing with new helmets, you know, those cheek pads, they're gonna feel tight initially. So uh, it takes a break in period. Uh, so don't give up immediately. Uh, it does take uh, some riding hours for those cheek pads uh, to really conform to your head uh, and then fit like a glove. Um, but this helmet's great, it's got um, seven intakes and it's got two exhaust ports uh, really simple to use uh, one hand the one that I love is this one on the back it's called like a Venturi vent it looks almost like a Lamborghini Aventador I feel like uh, <laughs> in my mind which is sweet but as you can see I have the um, a new silver reflective mirror on here uh, visor mirror and it's, it's pin lock ready, uh, but they don't uh, include um, the uh, pin lock lens, so you have to buy that separately. Uh, but yeah, this mirrored silver visor is sweet. You know, I've ridden with visors before that you could see through, and then it like, kind of defeats the purpose of being a mirrored visor, right? You want to have that reflective look like a mirror. And this one definitely has it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to find the, uh, the uh, new uh, reflective visors. The thing is you can't, just find it with the HJC i70. You have to um, look up HJC-31 pin lock ready face shield. And there's seven colors for those, but I'll put a link uh, in the description below. And then also with the internal sun visor, um, there's two colors. It comes with this uh, dark one, which is great. Uh, it also comes with like an amber and a dark uh, smoke. Unfortunately, they don't have like a clear one. I was hoping I could replace this with a clear uh, visor so that way I could ride with, with this visor during the day when it's sunny and then lift it up and then plop down the uh, clear internal sun visor for night riding if I had to. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have that, so uh, I don't know. You can figure that out yourself. Uh, but it's not too bad. You know, even riding with this one at night, uh, it's doable. You just don't want to be like riding long periods of time, I think. Um, but aside from that, all these um, cheek pads come out really easy. Uh, you can just toss them right in the washing machine. Uh, and then what I have, I have actually, uh, this is a, a line-in microphone that I've tucked right into the cheek pad here. Uh, and I'll show you a photo so you can see it clear. But that way I can record audio uh, with my task cam while I'm riding. Uh, I'm actually recording right now with the task cam. But yeah, you just, just tuck it right in the cheek pad and it stays there. It's, it's a really good spot. Um, but one thing that they don't have with the HJC i70 is uh, a uh, chin curtain. So it doesn't come with one. You can get one for like $5, uh, 
uh, and that would help uh, reduce some wind uh, getting under your chin and also reduce like wind buffeting when you're recording audio um, but overall this thing has been sweet you know it's it's really classic helmet i love the design uh, it's like darth vader-esque uh, <laughs> but it's got just a super easy you know, traditional uh, d-ring uh, lock mechanism uh, but yeah for under 200 dollars you know this is a great helmet you can use it all day every day uh, rain or shine uh, it'll get you to where you're going comfortably and looking good uh, <laughs> So yeah, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick up your own HAC, HACI 70, uh, as well as you know, a link for the visors, uh, internal sun visor, chin curtain, and the pin lock lens. You know, I'll, I'll do it all for you guys, all right? Because it's a little tricky. I remember I was kind of scouring the internet trying to find all the right parts, but I'll take care of that for you. But yeah, this sweet little HACI 70. Get your own. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.